Hello everyone, Neon Jellypuff here, and welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we got our fourth Crystal Star and... Wait. What? No, we didn't! Wait, why am I a shadow? Uh, guys? What just happened? My party's gone. My items are here. My Crystal Stars are gone. My party's gone. Wait, no, I have my Crystal Star still. But my party's gone. What? What just happened, guys? Why am I a shadow? You don't think. What just happened? I'm, I'm a shadow. So what do we have to do now? I guess we have to go back to Twilight Town? What, 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 what happened? Didn't we just leave and now we're, we're here and we left and we don't... What just happened? Are we playing as the villain now? <laughs> yes! This time, we'll take that Mario and get his map! With this Super Bob bomb here, there's no way we can fail! No, not likely! <gasps> Vivian, hand me that glorious Super Bob bomb! Huh? Vivian, don't you dare! Does that ha huh, mean what I think it does? I, I never had it! You were holding it just two seconds ago! You said it was too important to trust me with it! Oh, you terrible liar! Stop making up stories to cover for yourself! If I don't have it, then obviously you must have it, and you obviously lost it! Or, you were trying to imply that I lost it, you little lollygigging worm! I... no, of course not, Beldum! Well, we can't do much without it, now can we? Oh, you are such an idiot! Very well. I'm sure you must have dropped it around here somewhere. So why don't you look for it while Merlin and I take a nice, well-earned siesta? And if you don't find it, well, you know what will happen, don't you? I... I get punished. That's right, you little twit. Don't, so get cracking! Come, Merlin. Let's leave this useless little fool to her chore. Go. <laughs> guys are jerks. I kind of feel bad for her. So, yeah. Um, we're playing as a shadow. And what the hell just happened? That was the most confusing battle I've ever been in. Well, anyway, there's more backtracking. So, um, I'm going to skip ahead until I get to Twilight Town. So, I'll see you guys there. Like, if you're playing along, do not battle in this state. You really don't want it. You're you're alone. Don't battle. Just just, just don't. Are you kidding me? I seriously got a freaking I got the rarest thing when I don't have any party members. Are you kidding me? Hopefully I can freeze it. What why? I knew this was going to happen. Of course it happens right when I It's going to run away. It's gone. No! What? I'm done. I'm done. I can't. I can't do it. I wasted it. It killed me. And there it goes. At least I leveled up this time, but I didn't get that extra experience. That really sucks. But yeah, we leveled up as a shadow. Okay, HP it is, I promise. So there we go, HP. No extra experience. That sucks. Anyway, I guess I'll meet you guys back at Twilight Town. Hey, what's up, Slick? Been waiting for you! Yeah, the Mario, right? What a great name! I really dig this body, too! Man, can I jump! And hey, you're so popular around here! I get mobbed! I just love being you! Yeah, it's so cool! I don't think I ever want to stop! Yeah, guys. So this... Whatever the heck his name is... 
seems to have stolen our identity and turned us into a shadow. So you figured it out by now, right, Slick? Your body and name belong to me now. See, I've got the power to change my shape into anyone I want. It comes in handy. But to really be someone, I have to take their name and body too. Which means you turn into a shadow and you can't use a name. Tough break, Slick. That's not enough either. I aim to erase you for good. I guess it'd be unsporting to ruin you without a little challenge first. So I'll give you one chance. If you guess my real name, then I'll give your name and body back. What do you say, Slick? This'll be fun, right? Now guess. What's a my name? Hitting you with her best shot. Guess the monster's name. Okay. Um... Maybe it's a trick question. Maybe his name is Mario. Because remember, he said that he stole our name. So maybe it's a trick question. Mario. Rogamondo, little nobody. Who named their kid that? Prepare for Doom Slick. You just said Mario was a good name. <laughs> Don't even think about running from the battle here. No running. All right, guys. He said to he said no running. He said to fight him one on one, Shadow versus Mario. Okay, let's attack. And he's invincible. But so are we. Yeah, guys. He said not to run. And excuse me. So he said not to run from battle, but literally we we have to run. We don't do anything. He can't he can't hurt us, and we can't hurt him. We have to run. That's it. It's over. Oh, that's a no fun. Yeah, sorry, Mario. Not sorry. I said Mario, not sorry. Now that Mario took care of that cursed monster, of that cursed monster, I don't have to guard the gate. But here I am doing it anyway. Yep, just keep the weirdos out, you know? Yeah, you look kind of weird. If I had to classify you, you'd be a bad guy. I mean, technically, yeah. Wait, what? What's going on here? You can't. No, what? Why were you here? It looks like I in here. Oh, oh, no, I, no, I was gone. Um, no, I don't guys, I waking perhaps. Up here. I, I don't, oh, I this is awkward. I guess that pig no, wasn't no, my no, husband no, after all. No, this guy's I, I younger and cuter than my husband, my actually. She's my wife. What a strapping fellow. Perhaps it's time I traded for a new husband. You thoughts! Oh, I'm only fooling. Greetings. Welcome to the Twilight Shop. What do you need? Uh, I might as well buy because I don't. Oh, everything here is expensive. Everything here is really expensive. Um, I'll just buy a few uh, super shrooms. Uh, yeah, that's really all I can. I want to buy because uh, everything here is pretty pricey. All right. Uh, it seems that nobody knows. Who Remember those three pigs that were here? Look, it's them, the traveling sisters three. Hey. Hey, we're the Traveling Sisters 3! Hey, I think we were pigs a until a moment ago. No way! We're not pigs. But if we were, we'd be such cute ones. Well, I guess we can check on everybody. Hey, their mom's back to normal. Thanks to Mario, our village is back to normal at least. At last. If you see Mario, you should thank him too. But, but... Mommy, I'm hungry. Mommy, I'm hungry, pork chops. Oh my god, he really wanted to eat that pig. It's your mother, though. You can't do that. But really, nobody knows we're Mario. If our identity was stolen. We resemble a bad guy, according to that gay guy. Oh, what'll I do? What'll I do? Poor me. Oh, what's going on? Oh, it's Vivian. I kind of feel bad for her. I think we should talk to her, guys. Hey. Hey, what's going on? I'm looking for something very important. If I don't find it, my sister's is gonna punish me again. But it's just not here. Hmm. At least you can do his help. We can do his help, you know. Well, it's not really we anymore. We don't have our partners anymore. They they left us. And they're with that other guy now. Ooh, got a star piece. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's see if we can find what she's looking for. Oh! Super Bomb. 
Hey. What? You found it? Oh, thank you so much. Thank goodness. At least I don't, won't get punished now. Oh, no! Oh, it's broken! I can't. I can't do high pitch. It must have broken when my sister dropped it. What'll I do? What'll I do? I guess I was just meant to be punished for life. Uh, I would say I'd fix it, but it's a grenade. I'm not gonna fix a grenade. Because remember, she's still on the bad side. I'm not trying to help, you know, her destroy the world. Hey, I don't feel bad. Hey, I don't want to feel bad. Thanks, you're really sweet. That actually makes me feel a little better. What? What'll I do now? My sister will be back any minute. Hmm. And it's gone. Hey, wait just a second. What's her name anyway? Won't you tell me? What? I can't hear you. Wait, your name was stolen? I see. Well, I guess that happens from time to time. Wait, no it doesn't! Your name was stolen?! That's absolutely crazy! Now he's explaining everything to her. Gee whiz, you have way worse problems than I do. And you were worried about me that whole time. That's so kind. Alright, that's it. I'm gonna help you get your... I'm gonna help you... Get back your name, and your body, and your friends. My voice is cracking. <clears throat> hey, that's okay. Don't worry about my problems. I'm not sure I really want to stay with my sisters anymore anyway. I feel like I need to repay you earlier. I feel like I need to repay your earlier kindness. That's the right thing to do. Oh my god. So, <laughs> here we go. Vivian joined your party. Yeah, guys. We're siding with the evil. We're on the evil side now, technically. Shadow Mario and a Shadow Siren. I I think we're officially on the evil side now. Press X to have Vivian pull Mario into the shadows where they can hide. Ooh, I wouldn't mind hiding in the shadows with Vivian. Stop. Okay. So she's kind of like Lady Bow or Bow in in um Mario 64 or Paper Mario 64. Or she can turn you invisible. This is pretty much the same thing, but only this time she can hide you. Press X again to reemerge. I wonder what they do. Stop. In battle, Vivian. Oh, she has a a, a flame a flame ability, so her punch can actually burn people or enemies. So yeah, she has the the um fire ability, which is cool. I guess we need to find out that ghost's real name first, huh? That'll be start. That'll be a start. Now how are we gonna get that kind of information? I have sort of an idea. Birds pretend to be innocent with people around, but they're actually really well informed of all that flying around and eavesdropping. Use my power, you can listen on their conversations without them knowing. So in addition to villagers, try to get some information from the local birds. That's the least I can do for you with my powers. My voice is dying. Well, Vivian, that's very nice of you. Look at that. We have Vivian as a... All right, let's save here. And, uh, yeah, look at that. We have... We have the evil side on our team. And she's the only one we actually have. Vivian. Okay. The local birds. Squawk, squawk, squawk! But if we hide... I've been really depressed lately. I'm thinking about the depletion of fossil fuels. What? Yeah, tell me about it. We've got to come up with a renewable energy source before that happens. Like wind. Or hydroelectric. I'm thinking solar energy has the greatest uh, potential. Yeah, these birds are talking about fossil fuels and stuff. Like, what is this? I, Vivian wasn't lying. I just saved. Vivian wasn't lying. These birds really are well informed. They know their stuff. It's very impressive. But, what are these birds? Okay, let's see. Little bird. Alas, this twilight world is too full of pain and contradiction. Too full of broken dreams. Perhaps I was only given wings so that I could flee the terror of mundanity. But now, like, what? Okay. This is pretty dark. Birds, oh my god, these burbs. 
They're so edgy. Hey, my dude. I don't know what that is. Listen to this. Ronnie, my oldest, is taking his SATs this year. Oh, is little Ronnie that age already? Well, bless my feathers flow. They're talking about SAT. They're birds. They don't take SATs. What are you talking about? They're burbs. All right, burbs. Let's see what these, uh, these guys have to say. So that Mario guy meeting with the mayor, he's actually the bad guy, right? And nobody even knows. Humans are so dumb. It makes me want to peck their noses. The only soul that knows the bad guy's name is locked under creepy steeple, I hear. As you know, if no one knows your name, you can use unstoppable magic. But if someone says your real name, then your magic will stop working. So, I wonder how it's going to end up then. This is very, very familiar. So, if you guys are wondering, this chapter, fun fact, the story of this chapter is actually inspired by Rumpelstiltskin. Where, you know, it's it's concept, it's the same thing. Where it's like, um, where it's like, yeah, Rumpelstiltskin, he takes the, like, the lady's uh, firstborn and, and it's like, hey, I'll, like, hey, if you guess my name in three days, I'll, I'll return your child. If not, you'll never see your firstborn again, right? So, yeah, it's like that. And also, another fun fact, so... I won't tell you his real name now, but the ghosts, his name, I believe in the German version of this game, his name is actually Rumpel. So his real name in the German version is Rumpel. In this one, it is not, it's something else. But I won't tell you anything, but yeah, that's really cool. His name is Rumpel in, in, in the, in the uh, German version. I think that's really, really cool. All right, so now we have to search under Creepy Steeple and try and find that person who knows the the uh, monster's name. And it seems that that guy, Mario, quote unquote, is meeting with the mayor. So you know what, I'm gonna check there first and then I'm gonna end the episode off there. Here, I mean. So let's go to the mayor's house and see what's going on. Oh my, the whole party's here. Guys, don't you recognize me? Oh, thank you, thank you. We owe you so much, Mario. Please take, please take this as a token of our, of our thanks. Eat up. What are they eating? Hey! Ah! Whoa! We Ah! Look at me! Look at me! It's me, Mario! <laughs> Boy, Mario, you sure got chatty all of a sudden. I mean, you like almost never talk. Oh well, I guess it's not too totally... It's not too totally weird or anything. Okay. Um, Mario, you seem kind of different. Uh, I mean... You're sort of the life of the party now, so I guess that's cool. Ma, 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 Mario! You're rather dramatic of late, aren't you? To be honest, dear, I rather enjoyed your quiet dignity and strength of character. Yeah, he's pretty egotistic now. Mario, what's going on? Yeah, I know. You're not Mario. I am. Uh, Gonzalez? What's up with you lately? You're kind of freaking me out. I mean, I'm all for acting like a complete loon, but it's not exactly your in your character. Exactly. This is not Mario's character at all. He's usually more uh, dignified and modest and, you know, quiet. He's not... He, his, his ego isn't that big, it, despite him actually being, like, the hero of everything. He's, he has a pretty small ego. So, uh, yeah, with that all said, I'm going to uh, 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 end the episode off here. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching this episode of Paper Mario 1000 Your Door. If you guys enjoyed, as usual, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, favor, and comment for more. And tell me, um, what would you do if you were in Mario's shoes? Like, an evil ghost thing steals your body and your name and identity, and then you're left as a shadow, and no one knows that it's actually you, and nobody knows that the... Other you is not the real you. It's a fake. It's a monster. What would you do in Mario's shoes right now? If I were Mario, I don't know what I would do. I'd be... I would hope I could find a Vivian. I could... I'd be like... I don't know what I'd do. I would try and side with an enemy, I guess. I don't have any enemies, though. So, yeah. I don't know what I would do. I would try my best to get my, my identity back, but yeah. I don't know. So, so what would you guys do? Tell me in the comments, please, and I will read them, and I will... I'll appreciate it. <laughs> and with that all said, I will... Uh, blah, I already said that. 
And with that all said, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next episode. See you later, guys. Bye.